Welcome to my YouTube channel which is titled Research Methods Class with Dr. Lydia Wabugo. In this class, we discuss everything social science research from understanding the research discipline, research philosophy, the elements of scientific research, and the methodologies of conducting research. In research methods, we have a book titled Research Methods, Theory and Practice. This book is accessible through the website where you can access the hard copy of the book or a downloadable PDF format of the book. In the same website, you are able to access all the courses which includes the free research methods course, IBM SPSS statistics course, M&E consultancy course which are available at a fee. Please find the links in the description. Welcome. Welcome to our lesson where we are going to discuss the fourth and last method of data collection which is document analysis. So far we have discussed three methods of data collection. These are administration of questionnaires, interviews and observation. We have also discussed the instruments that are used in these methods of data collection. So we have talked about questionnaires, we have talked about interview schedules, interview guides, observation schedule, observation guide, and focus group discussion guide. The lesson that has just ended, we have discussed observation. We have said that unlike questionnaires and interviews, which relies on information given by the participants, observation relies on the expertise of the researcher to use his or her eyes to record the events as they unfold in the natural setting. We have also explained the two types of observation and the two major limitations of observation. So let us first familiarize ourselves with the learning outcomes. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to define document analysis as a method of data collection, state the types of documents that are available to a researcher, identify the sources of documentary data, and explain the methods of determining credibility of documentary data. So what is document analysis? Document analysis is a systematic data collection approach which relies on the documents as its source of data. A document in this case can be defined as any written or recorded material not specifically prepared for the evaluation or at the request of the inquiry. Existing records often provide an insight into a setting of an individual or a group of people that cannot be observed or noted in another way. So document analysis is again a purely qualitative method and the instrument used to analyze documents is called document analysis guide. Types of documents. We have three types of documents. The first one is written texts, for example, books, articles, reports, both public and private, autographs, biographies, etc, etc. Then we have digital information, for instance, from web pages, short message texts, blogs, social media sites, etc, etc. And we also have visual documents, for example, videos, pictures, photographs, artifacts, etc, etc. What are the sources of documentary data? We have various sources of documentary data, the first one being government publications that can be said to be authoritative, factual, and in most cases, objective. We also have newspapers and magazines, minutes that are taken during meetings, letters and memos, personal diaries, web pages, social media sites, or generally what you would call documents from the internet. How do you determine the credibility of documentary sources? 
The information in documents should not be accepted at face value. Any document to be used as a source of research data should be evaluated in relation to one, authenticity. Is it the genuine article? Is it the real thing? Representativeness. Is the document complete or it has been edited? Meaning, does the document bring out the clear meaning and it is not ambiguous? Validity. That the document is accurate and free from bias and errors. And this brings us to the end of our lesson. In this lesson, we have discussed document analysis as the fourth and the last method of data collection. We have said that document analysis is a review of documents to answer the research question. This lesson also brings to a close the topic on data collection that we began discussing in lesson 38. In our next lesson, we are going to start our discussion on quantitative data analysis. But before then, make sure you visit the researchmethodsclass.com website where you can watch the full research methods course. You can also access other courses on SPSS and m and consultancy. You are also able to book for consultation and you can also buy the research methods ebook. See you in our next lesson as we discuss quantitative data analysis.